good win for us tonight. The Portland played terrific basketball. They're very tough to guard in the offense. They really spread us out. And uh, we had to go small to try to defend them. So give Portland credit. I thought they came in and played an excellent basketball game. Made some shots. They made 13 threes. A few of those were very tough. Contested threes. But give them credit because I thought they shot the ball great. Uh, we had 21 assists but also 20 turnovers. So we didn't do our job of taking care of the basketball. We tried to share it because we had 21 assists. We just did not do our job to take care of the basketball like we have been. Last two years we've led the league in least amount of turnovers and, and, and the most assists. So we, we did our job in the assist part. We just did not do our job in the turnover part. Coach, can you talk about the leadership? Um, Ethan Anderson displays tonight. He had, uh... Well, Ethan came off the bench and played a lot in the second half. He had 10 assists and two turnovers. Uh, he had a Really a controlled game. I thought he made the right reads. He left his feet late for that second turnover, but anytime you get 10 assists in a game, it's impressive, especially for a freshman. So he's developing as a player. He has great court vision and he's a tough kid. So uh, I thought he played, I gave us a big jump off the bench. Coach, second straight game of shooting really well from beyond the arc, and tonight it was Quentin that came in and supplied that energy. What can you say about the level of, of diversity of shooters that you guys have? Well, Q's a really good uh, player, period. He's, he's an excellent defender, position defender, and he's an elite shooter. So tonight he got hot in the first half, made three straight, but I was most impressed with his defense. He uh, really helped us when we went, made that run in the second half to take the lead. Coach, after Tuesday's game, how much of an emphasis did you place on starting the game on the right foot today? Well, it was important. We got, we got off to a good start. I think we had a 12-point lead with eight. Uh, I think we were up 12. Uh, early, maybe with eight minutes left or first half, but then uh, we let them come back in it and we made some defensive mistakes. Uh, I played 11 guys, so uh, we, uh, but that wasn't the reason they came, uh, they came back. We just didn't defend. Coach, this is big old second straight game with 20 and 10. How do you put him in positions to be so efficient? Well, he does a lot on his own. If you see the five offensive rebounds, we don't run a ton of plays for him, we run a few. But he's constantly w within the offense, he's ball screening, rolling the rim, posting up, he's going for the offensive glass, he's running the floor. So he does a lot of it on his own, but, but th in our system, he's a, he plays a very important position for us and, and he does it very well. Uh, so uh, we just need him to keep uh, playing within the system and, and then get using his talents to go get that ball when it's on the backboard. He is a very uh, uh, tremendous, He's able to read the ball when it's in, in midair and then and go get it off the glass or off the rim. So you, you'll see even even when he doesn't get it, he's close or he's tipping the ball or trying to get it. So he's relentless and he has uh, five offensive rebounds again. So it's very impressive. Portland comes back to tie it in that second half. And you, what do you tell your team during that timeout to clean it up and, up and then you end up finishing out the second Well, it was really in the defensive end. We had, we had to get some stops and we, we finally did. That we went small, we had four guards, we matched their four guards. We had an advantage in size, but they were shooting the ball so well and getting open looks against our bigs because we were switching. We had to switch because they have so many shooters in the court. Uh, so uh, it was really on the defensive end to try to get some stops. And then I thought we did a really good job of executing offensively to set ball screens, space the floor. We got some back cuts, we got some uh, back action threes. And we have some transition easy baskets. So I thought uh, during that uh, five or six minute stretch when we, we took the lead and extended it to double digits, uh, we played very good basketball. Coach, I mean, I could have played about six minutes in the first half. Was there any specific reason? For he had two fouls. And then, uh, so he had two fouls. I didn't want him to pick his third up. And then we started him in the second half. And he picked his third up right away. So I had to sit him again. Uh, so then we brought him back within about 12, 12 minutes left in the game, 13 minutes left. And, with three fouls, and, and he was able to play the rest of the way. Uh, Coach, despite the 21 turnover, did you see like a lot of things that, that can be easily fixed? Well, the 20 turnovers jump out. Uh, we, we made some really uh, just uncharacteristic passes and, and poor decisions, and we had a couple charges. We just have to do a better job. We're, we're, a lot of our players are they're very good offensively, but we just. Uh, uh, we can't turn the ball over 20 times and expect to. Uh, we're in a game. If, if, we, if we cut that down to 10, we'll, we'll, we'll probably win uh, a little more comfortably. But give Portland credit. They were aggressive defensively. They, they got deflections. Their guards were quick. They had a lot of steals. They got their hands on balls. So 
Uh, I give Portland a lot of credit on that, too. Ethan Anderson came off the bench today. What do you envision his role to be going forward? Well, he's, he's, gonna, he's a basketball player. Uh, we, we, uh, we have a lot of interchangeable parts on our team, and they have to play multiple positions. They have to, some, some nights are going to play great. Some nights are not going to play so well, and there's a lot going to be in between. And most of the season is going to be somewhere in between. And they have to be prepared to just compete and grind it out like we did tonight. Even when we're not playing our best, you have to, you have to defend and grind it out. And that's what Ethan did. Isaiah White had 22 points. Can you talk about what challenges he presented to you guys tonight? Well, he, he's an experienced grad transfer. We, we knew that. He, he played at Maine last year, averaged about 15 points a game. and he, uh, uh, he, He's a, been a scorer all his life. So, so he came out and he got made a couple early and he got his confidence. And uh, we switched on some ball screens and he shot right in our face and made a few. So I uh, give him credit. He, I thought he played an outstanding offensive game. Coach, there were brief periods of time where you guys switched to zone. Um, how do you feel that affected their shooting? Well, I thought our zone in the, fir in the first half, we mixed it up and we got a, about three or four stops in a row. Then they made a three in the corner. But we uh, uh, we want to be a predominantly man-to-man -man team this year. I think we'll be pretty good at it. But I think there is some value of switching defenses, keeps the other team off balance a little bit. So uh, we'll pick and choose when we want to go zone. And if uh, uh, if we're going to play a big lineup, we'll probably have to play a little more of it. Coach, what do you think you're going to emphasize most coming into uh, Tuesday's game? Well, the turnovers. We'll look at the look at the video, and then uh, uh, some of the defensive mistakes. We've been so good defensively in the preseason, uh, in our preseason game, our scrimmage the other night, and I thought our defense, uh, even though we held them to 41 percent from the field, which is just just okay for us. Uh, but they made 13 threes, so we're, we're going to have to try to run guys off the line and, and really be quicker to help. Last question for Andy. Anybody have any more? What was your first impressions of Mike Bone? Oh, he's, he's terrific. Uh, a lot of energy, and he's excited to be here. So uh, I, I don't know Mike from before, but I met him yesterday after his press conference, and he spoke to the coaches. So we're all excited for him. Uh, Mike and his family, it's a nice... Uh, change to come out from Cincinnati to the West Coast, and we're happy to have him. Ethan, Coach kind of spoke to one of your leadership today. How do you see yourself? Uh, how do you see yourself as a leader going forward uh, as, as a young freshman on this team? Well, definitely going forward, I have to be able to take care of the ball a little bit more, have a little bit more turnovers than I wanted to. But like you said, my seniors like Jonah and the coaches that they give me confidence when I have the ball to make my reads and make my proper decisions. So it's real easy when you have there's a lot of talent around you. I'm able to get in the paint, just find open guys. Jonah, through the first two games, how would you characterize your performance so far? Uh, it's been all right. Um, people expect me to shoot lights out, and it's not always really like that, but. Um, my teammates are finding me, telling me to keep on shooting. Uh, I'm going to get over the hump soon, but um, we we got two wins, so I'm not really concerned about me right now. Um, to going to keep on playing hard, and it's going to come coming forth uh, throughout the season. Jody, you guys didn't shoot very well on Tuesday. You guys did a little bit better on that three-point. Was, was it kind of frustrating to see Tuesday's performance and how, I guess, pre-assuring or relaxing is it to see that you guys can shoot the three like you thought you could? Uh, uh, we're, we weren't really worried about it. Um, you know, we have great shooters on our team. Uh, Quentin, Daniel, you know, we have people who can all shoot the ball. Everybody can shoot on our team, so it's all going to come within rhythm. First two games, um, it's going to come. We work on it every day. Uh, just got to keep on pushing at it, and um, I think we played good today. We shot the ball better, and that's why we came out to win. <coughs> Jonah, you mentioned Daniel and Quentin. How important is it to have that experience with you on the court? Uh, super important. Um, they, just, uh, you can, uh, they come in the game. Uh, they already know the, the, the deal is. They've been here in college basketball for four plus years. So you have to tell them really anything much. But just having them, having that help, uh, that experience with them on the court just helps me a lot and with all the young kids and the new guys. So I like having them here. Ethan, it seems like you found Okongwu uh, repeatedly late in the second half. How much does his inside presence help you as a player? It helps a great deal when I come off the pick and roll or whether I'm dribbling transition. Like I said, I have a lot of talent around me, so they can't really help off shooters. And then when I have Big O coming, I always have a safety net. So if my shot's not there, I can throw it anywhere by the rim. He just goes to get it. So Big O's a terrific player, and it makes my job a lot easier. Ethan, what's it like for you playing with a lot of these Southern section guys that you played against in high school? Oh, it's a dream come true, definitely. Like I said, I was a, a late recruit, so coming in, I knew I had to prove my worth. 
So I think I'm coming on doing a pretty good job just taking care of the ball and playing with familiar faces. Like Joni's from the same place I'm from, and a lot of these dudes I knew before I came here. So since a great chemistry, which gives us a jump. Tony, you've mentioned a bunch of times that Ethan is what you call different. So what's your favorite part of playing with him? Um, I don't really have a favorite, just like multiple things. Uh, he reads the way he reads ball screens as like a freshman, just uh, just different. Um, the way he plays hard every possession, doesn't take anything off, finds me whenever. Um, he just plays his complete game. It's not only really a favorite thing, I just like everything he does. Any more questions? Often the, uh, the the student aspect of the term student athlete gets overlooked. Uh, I know it's midterm season. How was it like balancing that commitment between school and athletics? Uh, they do a pretty good job of our tutors. Again, there's tutors in a time we need to complete our work and do uh, things we need to do. So we just got to find a time. We find time to get in the gym, so we got to find time to do it outside the court too. So they do a really good job of that.